Great coach. Um, first half, you go on that twenty-two nothing run. Kind of, I thought you got uh, really well with the coast. What were you guys doing well during that time period? I think we defended, you know, they were, they were shooting, I think they were six for 25 from field in the first half. I think we guarded and rebounded and we're getting more confident offensively. Other guys are starting to, you know, Juan Cardenas has been terrific. Um, Byron Hawkins is back feeling healthier. So he's been playing and you know, Adam Grant, Sebastian Towns have been really good offensively all year and Joe was good today. So you had, you had five guys sharing the ball and making shots. And I think it's started with our defense and we shared the ball and made shots. You have your big, um, I know you've only been here for one year, but you uh, have the biggest, uh, conference win in program history in four years, well, in the last four years. How big is that, especially since it's the uh, senior day and after a year where you're doing a lot of transition in the program? How big is that? I'll, well, I'll tell you what. First thing for me, senior day is really important and always has been to me. You want your seniors to leave playing the last time they're on their home floor and winning that game. That means a lot to me. And I talk to our guys a lot about we're playing for our seniors today. They deserve, they've worked really hard this year. And, you know, for Taylor, it's with a new coach. For Byron Hawkins, I brought him here. And those kids have given me a lot through injury, through some adversity, through a transition year of new coach, new style, a lot of new things. So our team owed it to those guys to compete and win for them, which is very important to me. And part of us, the, the, like you said, the transition is uh, I'm trying to build a culture here. And we're taking steps in the right direction. We still have a long ways to go, but we're learning how to win. And they're learning how hard you need to work every day. You know, like we had our best practice on one day's rest. We had a really good practice yesterday. We have not had good practices on the day in between games. I could tell, we were, I knew we were going to play good today. I was not concerned with how we were going to play. They, Mount could have came out and made every shot. I was still very confident in our guys because, one, they needed to feel good about themselves. We've lost so many close games that we could have three or four more wins if a ball bounces differently, a whistle's blown differently. But we talked about after the FD, FDU loss, you have to keep working and fighting and competing every day because you don't know when you're going to get over the hump. But if you keep working hard all the time, eventually you are. It's going to happen. You can't control the day you're going to get that win that's going to set off some confidence and get you propelling forward. But as long as you keep working like that on a daily basis, eventually it's going to happen. Obviously, this weekend is a step in the right direction, and now we have to go on the road and keep it rolling. I know you still have a chance to have a game here um, and if you guys do make the NEC tournament, but just in case they don't, um, what have you seen from the team so far this year? Uh, from the beginning, you guys were struggling. You know, you come, at, uh, come in and try to put in a new program. How have you seen the team grow just overall this entire season? Uh, the thing that I feel good about is they're completely bought in right now. This team is completely dialed in. Whether we win or lose, I know they're playing for each other. I know they really care about winning and care about each other. And those are the things that are important to me. The, the wins and losses, obviously you die with losses and you feel good. You feel relief after wins. It's not a happy feeling. You're relieved and you move on to the next one. But these kids are working so hard. And obviously they had struggles last year. They went through a really rough year. New coach, trying to instill a new philosophy, philosophy, new system. And that takes some time. It doesn't happen overnight. And these kids are completely bought in and dialed in right now. So I'm very comfortable with the way we are. Does that mean we're going to win our next two games or go win the NEC tournament? No. But it means that I know we're moving in the right direction, and I know this program is moving in the right direction, and those are the things that are important to me. I can sleep at night knowing that these kids really care and really want to win and care about each other. And when I know that, that's when you have those things, you eventually become a really good program. And we're moving towards that. And again, I keep saying it. There's a long ways to go from where we are to where we want to be, but our guys are working to get there. And I know as long as they continue to work, we're going to keep making steps forward. Your two uh, seniors, what do you have to just say about them and how they've been this year? Yeah, I mean, they both, Taylor McHugh had an ankle injury, missed the whole second half of last season. When I took over, he was still injured, so he didn't really start working out until the summer. And he's a kid who has worked so hard and given me everything he has. Is he the most talented kid on the floor? No. He leads. He tries as hard as he can. He competes. He's done everything I could ask for from a senior who I didn't recruit but I've treated like one of my own, and he's always going to be one of my own because he's given me every single ounce of what he has. Byron Hawkins took a chance on coming to a program that won three games last year because he had confidence in my philosophy and what I planned on doing with him and our program. So I'm indebted to him for taking a chance. He could have gone to 25 other schools. He decided he wanted to come here to get his master's degree, which he's going to do, and help turn this program around. And those two seniors will be part of the rise of this program. And we're going to continue to keep improving here. And those guys, it's going to start with. And they'll come back 
10 years from now, after we've won several championships and there's banners hanging, and hopefully that starts this year, but they'll come back knowing that they were the first step of us moving in the right direction. And those kids, they've bought into what we're trying to do. And it's very easy to go the other way. When you have some struggles, seniors can do one thing or the other. They can fight through adversity and say, I'm going to figure this out. We're going to win. We're going to find a way to be successful. Or they can pack it in and go in the other direction. And I've seen it happen both ways with different teams. And these kids have kept believing, kept fighting, and that's why they're starting to see success. And it's not just based on the wins and losses. Again, we, we lost five games in a row. We could have won every one of those games. We were, either, we were leading in four of those games in the last eight minutes, and we were down one in the other. So if you win those four games, your record's deep, different and people are thinking completely different. I'm not. I knew we were this close. I knew eventually we were going to get over the hump and get some wins, and now we need to have a really good week of taking care of our bodies, good week of academics, and a really good week on the court to prepare for a tough 